Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Volcano Block. I did a bit of work in between episodes, so let's check it out. I cleaned up the chest mess that was here before and now we have uh, three nether chests, a regular overflow chest, which is going to eventually be this chest. I just need more iron basically, uh, or I don't want to waste iron right now at least. Uh, so then we have the three nether chests and I'm losing my voice. Don't you just love it when you start recording and your voice dies? Okay, back to the episode. <laughs> so basically, I filter everything out with uh, glass panes, because uh, basically, uh, if I toss anything in here, it's firstly going to go to this shipping crate or this shipping crate. And then the next spot is going to look. It's one of these three nether chests. And then it's going to look into this chest. And then the last one is going to be this chest. So basically, I have to fill out the empty spots, kind of like you would do in a vanilla uh like chest system with hoppers basically uh, and in the shipping containers I have uh, this guy is full of the resource bits and also all of the blocks so we have sand gravel netherrack dirt and all that stuff and in here we have all of the farming stuff so basically everything that I had in the nether chest down here is now gone and the way I have it connected is just with item interfaces on the bottom and that's pretty much it I made a s small attempt at a sugarcane farm because I made an enchanting table. Since we're really close to 30 levels, we can probably enchant something, but I was saddened to know that I can't enchant this. Uh, I can enchant books, though, or I can enchant this uh, super special armor that I made in between episodes, which makes me look really cool. Uh, it is made with, uh, not uses, recipe, with cloth and skull, and basically the other ones are just with uh, the bones. And I assume yeah, it just it's any bone and it doesn't make any difference to the armor, but basically that is what it is. I don't know what it does or if it's good or anything. I just made it because it looks cool. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, so the rest of the stuff, I haven't really done anything. I need to move this guy somewhere way off in the corner so we don't have uh, an issue with the crystal being charged or items being drawn to the, the gravity blocks. Uh, I killed, or basically I left all the cows to empty out of the essence, <clears throat> or of the book. My voice keeps dying, I'm sorry. Uh, so I have Endermen now, and I don't know if they just start teleporting everywhere if I start killing them. Oh, so far it's looking okay. Uh, it doesn't, it's not gonna drop really any player drops or anything, so I don't know if it's better to just kill the Endermen by hand. I can just stand in here and whack them probably, even though they might teleport outside. I'm pretty sure they will. Uh, but at least this does work. Uh, and then they die, and yeah, we get Ender Pearls and Ender Bronze. Okay, cool. Uh, the only problem that I had was that these, uh, these plates uh, are uh, kind of slow, and they don't push the Enderman directly on top of this guy to get him killed. So I would need to have this guy on a clock. So every time the spawner would... Det or maybe with a pressure plate? Probably not. It's not gonna work, because then it can't open. So I don't know if the best idea would be to have this guy one block lower than the hopper in the floor and then extend it upward so the mobs that drop down drop directly on top of it. And then I can just gravity block the items to the side into a hopper. That could also be a thing. So we might upgrade this eventually uh, and make it a bit better. Be it worked with the cows mostly, but it's not. it doesn't seem to be working with the veteran. You're going to see here. Yeah, they just stop. And then if I do that, they move and then they're in the thing. Um, so that's kind of it. Um, all right, so that's Summoner. And that is pretty much all that I did in between episodes. I didn't tear anything down here in machines. I'm still smelting up a bunch of steak, uh, which I got from the cows. Uh, it's finishing on the last stack. I processed a bunch of wood. Uh, we can grab our crushing block. Do I have anything else? We have lead ore here. I need to make some more ores, so let's go get a some energy and dust and some stone. And also we can probably grab a bit of cobble. Let's toss all of this away. Now it's all in the drawers or in the crates, which is lovely. So I'm just going to grab that much cobble, I think should be fine. Maybe let's do a full inventory's worth uh, and get that smelting because we're going to need more cob more stone eventually anyway. All right. Uh, so then let's grab some stone, like so, and energy and dust, and we can also take a stack of energy and cr energy crystal seeds and toss them in the grinder uh, to get them prepared for for more stuff. Okay, because uh, I I was running kind of low-ish on this, 
Uh, and did you process the sapling that I tossed in here? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, and you need some more energy in us. Okay, you do you. And we're gonna need also a sapling because we can get into Zora saplings, which are gonna be really cool. So I'm gonna just grab a, let's do four saplings. I think should be fine. Uh, on Primordium, I think we're still okay. We have, we're not okay, definitely not. And we don't have any extras. Okay, toss those in there. Uh, and we need Primordium. So let me grab the things that I need for that and we should get that going. I processed a couple of regular saplings and it's finishing on the stone basically. So we have now Zora saplings, which gets us four more Zora saplings. If I th knew that I would have only done one. And then we need Zora steel, which Zora steel is a explosion furnace with carbon dust and raw Zora steel ingots. And the raw Zora steel is Zora leaves and iron, which I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Uh, I also wanna mention, I made this vengeance pickaxe in between episodes. The recipe is just hardened blood and some diamonds. And it's basically a low durability fortune five pickaxe with curse of vengeance three, which means that little spirits come after you, uh, which is kind of funny. I'm also gonna process some netherrack in here because that will get us, I think, netherrack with fossils. Yeah, there we go, from Solus, which I assume gets us wither skeleton stuff and zombie pigmen and uh, do, do we have Endermen in 1.12? I don't know if we get Ender Essence, but I'm going to process a couple of stacks of Netherrack as well in here because we have a bunch of Primordium. Uh, I processed two sets of nine items, basically, nine different items, uh, and it got us quite a bit of Primordium, so that's really cool. So I'm just going to leave let that go. Uh, we're going to hopefully remember to turn that off. If not, we're just going to lose the energy and dust. It's all good. Okay, so uh, I don't know if we're going to need anything else, but we definitely need to do this. All of the dark gems. And there's the little spirits. They come and hurt you and then they leave. Um, so I can probably get emeralds and uh, diamonds as well from this. At least a couple. Hi, go away. Uh, so let's try these Zora steel saplings. Uh, this guy's gonna start breaking these. I don't know if it reaches to this corner. I wanna just grow it just to see what happens. Well, actually, we can go here, even though I have uh, a bunch of uh, unleafified mineral trees. So let's get rid of one of these at least. Awesome. I also have been trying this Vengeance Pickaxe on the Enriched Mineral Wood, and I don't know if that uh, makes a difference or not, but uh, if we get more crystallized mineral chunks, but it's gonna be okay. Once we get to a little bit of RF, we can use this guy that I made. Hello, spirit, go away. Uh, we can use this guy, which requires RF, to squeeze uh, mineral wood into actually liquid mineral, and that's gonna get us a bunch of stuff. Uh, do we wanna just crook the leaves? Oh yeah. We crook the leaves, we get all the Zora leaves. Okay, sweet. So let's plant a couple of these. Get rid of the rest of this. I'm gonna have to climb up. Really? Super high. Okay, so like that. Ow. Stop it. Nice. So that's how you get a lot of Zora leaves. And the Zora leaves, oh yeah, I can use those in the Primordium for Primordium. Oh, that's neat. Okay, sweet. Uh, I'm gonna harvest that in a moment, but we need the Zora leaves with some iron. Like that. That's gonna make us eight raw Zora steel, and the Zora steel can then be put in the explosion furnace with carbon dust. EP per craft is 360. Uh, what was the was the ceramic right? How much do you make of EP per craft? You made thirty three hundred sixty. So if we put, uh, we have carbon dust, right? So if we put uh, sand and gunpowder, I don't know if it uses only the amount that it needs to use, or if it uses actually uh, everything. But I don't want to go test. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add four gunpowder. Five sand, take that out, carbon dust, that, and hopefully we don't die. Okay, that made one. Okay, can I add more? 
okay, you can add more and then it makes the rest. Okay, that's okay. I understand how it works now. Okay, so we get a Zora altar and that can get us a calculator, but we need the archaic circuit from embers. So we need to go through the line of embers. Plus we need to go down to the sentient core if we want to get to a regular calculator. Uh, and to get the promise of tenacity three, we need 160,000 millibuckets of blood. So I don't know if uh, it's going to be uh, insane for me to try to collect that manually, but these guys can uh, be equipped with blood crystals, which hold 10,000 millibuckets. And I don't know how uh, that exactly works, but we were uh, trying to make that in the last episode, and I don't know what we got stuck at, but I didn't make one. We were missing, oh, we were missing glue. Uh, that's sugar and bone meal, I think. Let's toss the Zora leaves. These are gonna go into, uh, we only have three bone meal. And we don't have any regular bones. Okay, let's make, where's my water? Here. Let's make at least three glue, just so we can, I believe that's that way, yeah. Um, just so at least we can get uh, one, bloody emerald so like that like that of course you don't have i don't know why it doesn't like there's a there was a way where somewhere we can uh set it so so it reaches into my inventory as well yeah automatically refill from crafting grid after crafting source player source network player source player network player network So bloody crystal, let's just make uh, one for the moment and get that smelted. I'm just gonna wait for this cobblestone to almost finish smelting. Then we can uh, sneakily put this in like that. And we should have ourselves a bloody crystal, lovely. And this holds 10,000 and I don't know if the uh, if the thingy poops it out after it's done, but let's see. I'm gonna do, bam. Okay, it says zero out of a hundred, out of a thousand blood. I don't know how it triggers or how it doesn't, I don't know. Okay, so next order of business is just to get, I think, the 16,000 millibuckets of blood so I can stay here and swipe at the Enderman and try and get blood uh, into the blood extractor so we can put it into here. I can probably also get another different type of spawner because we have a bunch of essence of different types. Uh, I can have it, I believe, in this nether chest. Yeah. We have all the diff all this different type of essence and we can possibly make like a sheep spawner or another spider spawner or something or chicken spawner. Even skeletons would work for bone meal. Oh god, skeletons. Definitely. Can I make another book? I have books. Give me a soul book. Soul. Soul book. Thank you. And then I'm going to do that. I hate it how it clears it into, into the, uh, your inventory and not into the thing if you don't shift click. Okay, let's do that. Toss the essence in there and then we can just do that 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 oh that's a full book lovely because we had more than 32 all right uh let's get that out of the way sort of saplings that 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 i have so many things in my inventory that i don't need clay can go away and essence awesome okay so i'm gonna go replace this we're just gonna go here and grab everything out put the skeleton one in and then put on the blood crystals, the murky orbs, and the oscillating gears. And that should start running. Yeah. And I'm going to see if I turn this on, if the skeletons get automatically damaged, or if we need to uh, change up the farm. The skeletons are definitely automatically dying, and I assume that is what we need for co blood collection, because this is collecting blood now. Uh, it's kind of slow, but it... Two spawns got us 500 uh, millibuckets of blood, so it's better than uh, just uh, me sitting here and whacking them with a sword, I think. Uh, and we can... Uh, can we, like, click out of here? No, I think the... 
the blood crystal will uh, then get filled up and we can probably toss it in there to get it stored. I looked up a little bit into the evil craft mod and we can make this spiked plate which is just gonna require a dark gem to get ourselves some spikes and apparently it put everything that I didn't want into my inventory again. Okay, so that gets us the spike. The spike plate is a weighted pressure plate, which is not a problem. And then we have to toss the spikes into the system like that to get a spike plate. And this sh says it damages mobs and you can place it on a pedestal to drain blood. So the pedestal is the sanguinary pedestal. It drains blood stained blocks in the area. I don't know in what it drains or if it has an inventory, but we need a dark block. And it looks like we have enough dark gems. I just need to toss that in. Nice. And we could make the next year pedestal, but we need a bunch more uh, uh, dark gems and we need to toss them into the thing. And I think our dark gem supply is at nine. So I'm making a bit more downstairs and we're going to just try out this pedestal for the moment. Uh, let's get into the back so we can turn off the spawner, even though I have a couple skeletons inside. They're probably going to shoot me, uh, but we can at least do that. No, no, no. Ooh, that was close. Almost tossed me into the lava, even though I'm in mu immune. I'm not immune. Where's my obsidian skull? You in here? Where's my obsidian skull? Okay, gotcha. I haven't even checked what this does. Oh. Oh. That's a an enchanting table. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of these two. And let's get rid of that and that. And we're gonna just uh, do that, I think. Put down the pedestal and put down the spiky things. I don't know how this collects the blood, but we're, we, we shall see. I'll lock this off temporarily and let's go turn it on again and see what happens. No clue. There we go. I probably need just like a staircase up and I can turn that on and off from the top. Um, right, we'll see. Uh, so I can actually probably, that's Solus. I have an evil craft book somewhere and we can probably read about it. There we go, Origins of Darkness. So that's hurting the mobs. All right, they're dropping XP as well and items. Okay, can I see here probably? Let me find it. Improvements have been made. Uh, I basically moved the summoner up one block just so we don't have, we can turn it off from the top. I have a, a lever lever there inside of the glass basically. So I have easy access without having to be shot by skeletons to turn off the spawner. Uh, and then down here we have the uh, sanctuary pedestal, which is draining the blood. Uh, and I think it also has an internal storage as well as as you can see in the top left from the one probe And then we have a dark tank right below it, which is really cool because it uh, it picks up the blood automatically I tried using the integrated integrated dynamics uh, Fluid things these guys fluid importers and exporters and it didn't work I assume it needs to be connected to a like a storage system or something. I don't know, but it didn't it didn't seem to work <clears throat> So that is all right uh, and what I have basically here is we have a gravity block that I probably should put a tray on just so it doesn't pull the remains of the mobs, I guess. And they, I believe those are what gives me blood. So I don't know if that is reducing the amount of blood that I'm getting, but at least we can just uh, sneak right click it out of here and then just right click it into here. And we're currently at 58,000. So that's not going to take us too, too long to get to the 160,000 that we need. We have a bunch of normal bones as well, a bunch of arrows, graves dust as well, which is an ingredient in uh, Corail Tombstone. So that's uh, used for a bunch of voodoo puppets and stuff. We are getting skeleton skulls as well, which is really cool. And apparently some bows, which we don't really need. Uh, and I tried moving the entire thing so it was in the middle, but the summoner doesn't seem to want to spawn uh, mobs when it is floating in the air. It kind of needs like an, a, a block at least on the bottom. I don't know if it uh, has the range of a normal spawn or anything, but it is what it is. So I can just basically AFK here, uh, leave this be. The tank has how much storage? 16 millibuckets, 16,000 millibuckets. So that's not going to be too much, but at least it's not filling up that fast. So I can at least AFK here for a moment 
and I assume the pedestal, the, do you show how much you have? No, it doesn't show. Um, so that's all right. Uh, and uh, we can uh, basically get automatic blood, which is really cool. I totally didn't realize that this pedestal automatically puts things into the blood infuser. We could just place the blood infuser like right here in front of this glass block and we should be fine. I don't think I can carry on this guy. Uh, doesn't look like it. So I'm just going to leave it be here. I'm going to use up the blood once we get to it. But we need to craft some other things before we can uh, actually get to calculator. Uh, we need to get ourselves into this part of the soul steel because we're going to need this for the calculator mod, but we can go down here towards the conductor mast and the atomic calculator and the algorithm separator through just uh, the evil craft line once we get the promise of tenacity three. Uh, so for that, we're going to need a power cube, which requires soul steel. So basically, soul steel is next next on the line. So we need a sentient core. So let's get into our crafting and let's do sentient core. There's a core box, but this should give us sentient cores. Lovely. We can do that. What do we get as a reward? Imprisoned light. Okay. Then we need to make metal diamond, which is going to require some diamond blocks. Well, or at least just a diamond block, I think should be fine. Uh, what are those? Um, I think it's called light. This guy, light core stabilizer. Core stabilizer. Can we make a better one? This is a soul ingots and glowstone. We have uh imprisoned light let's uh take these down as well to get some more i have the crushing block somewhere uh crushing block there we go uh, and we can just toss these down and get some glowstone lovely so we can upgrade the other thing because that was the only thing that was uh stopping me from upgrading this so let's get into the crafting mode we don't have the light core stabilizer and the glowstone so that's going to get us a medium core stabilizer and the heavy is going to require soul steel. So the medium at least is going to help us a little bit. So let's put you right down here because we're going to spend some time next to this. So we're going to do that and put a core next to it. And then we can start placing this down. Uh, and we need uh, which one of those requires for the metal diamond, which one of the shards we need the shard of sacred land. So we can do sacred land one thank you uh we can actually do three like so uh and then we can grab our other sentient cores like so i'm in am i in the range of the spawner i am here which is fine i don't think i'll reach the diamond block if i'm here and then i'm not in range of the spawner that's poopy okay but i'll just make this into metal diamond so give me a sec and there we go we have four blocks of metal diamonds i've also upgraded my pickaxe a tiny bit i uh changed the uh the axe part to be uh diamond and i changed the rod to be iron so it's uh given us a little bit more juice we are at 119,000 blood so we're pretty close uh okay metal diamond uh and then we need do i have any soul stuff i have four okay so soul steel soul steel da, da, da. Roll, raw soul steel we're missing metal diamond we have the soul dust and we're missing i believe this catalyst so we can grab one of those and that's going to get us four soul steel i just hate it i wish i don't know if there's a config option because everything then drops on the floor here and it drops through the little gap that i have so things drop on the floor it's just a tiny bit annoying so I have to just either get used to every time I craft something, clear the inventory or clear the crafting grid. Uh, but okay, we had the soul steel somewhere. There it is. Okay, so we can, I believe, smelt this up to get ourselves regular soul steel. Yep. Uh, and that should complete the quest that we need for this. And with metal diamond, we get two diamonds. How generous game. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, okay, so I don't know how much soul steel we're gonna need for the things that we want, but we need the power cubes, which are gonna take two soul steel uh, and some Zora steel, which we I think should still have. Zora, we have eight. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, anything new here? Nope. Let's just wait for this blower furnace to finish. 
I am a bit of a derp and I can't look at arrows and which way they point. So we need to go through the whole embers chain if we want to get to the calculator mod. And with the calculator mod, we can get into the conductor mass, the electric diamond, the promise of tenacity we can get to, but I don't have enough blood yet. So I'm just going to AFK for that in between episodes. That's not something that is really interesting to do. I collected the soul steel. I got it smelted down. So uh, we collected a soul steel axe, uh, which I don't know what it does from Hearthwell. Uh, we might have to read on uh, on it, but it is what it is. We can probably... Can we do this in here? No, that's not... It doesn't come from Tetra. It's from Hearthwell. So what do you do? Do you chop down full trees? Nope, you're just an axe that acts as an axe. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I think we're at the end of the episode. And with that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to see new videos. You can support me on Patreon if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.